Narcissists pretend to believe in God. Narcissists cannot meet the expense of having to believe in a higher power or anything greater than them. Because otherwise they would experience an adverse effect. It would prevent their development. It would be unfavorable for them. It would act against their activities and behaviors. It would act against their desires. For them to be able to be narcissists, they have to reject anything that is morally superior. They have to reject any belief system that goes against what they're intending to do. Because otherwise, it would be in a position of authority over them. Because it would exercise guidance, direction and control. It would prevent them from doing what they do. But if there's one thing that narcissists can't stand, it's rules. They hate being told what to do. They want to do whatever they want to do, whenever they want to do it. So they don't really believe in God. Because if they did, they would be a representation of God. But they're not, because it's not genuine. They pretend to have values, morals and standards. It may look like they're compassionate. Because sometimes they may pretend to show sympathy and concern for other people. They may act like they're going to be fair and reciprocal of what you're giving to them. Because they have moral principles. They have beliefs about what is morally right and wrong. But you will never actually see that from them. Because they always have to put themselves first. They can't be fair. They can't have principles because otherwise that would mean you're equal. They have a need to be superior so they can't be fair to you. They can't be ethical in the same way as people who actually do believe in God. So this is what creates the problem. Because without God there's no representation of authority. So they're free to break laws. They're free to violate you because they don't really believe in anything. They're just showing you whatever they think you want to see to make you feel comfortable. To make you feel like you share the same opinions and interests of ethics and morals. But the reality is that they don't want to be subject to any rules, laws or guidelines that may interfere with these behaviors and activities that bring them amusement and enjoyment. They can't delay gratification. They can't delay the satisfaction of their desires. So they have to have it whenever they want it, which means that they will cheat, lie and steal. They will do things that you can't even imagine. Things that you never thought they'd be capable of. Because there's no limits or restrictions in their world. If they want it, they will go and get it. Regardless of what commitments they're meant to have to a relationship or to God. They will do anything to get what they want. And you've only got to look at the way they behave to see that. They lie and deceive. They act without thinking because they're heedless of danger and of the consequences of their actions which results in them being unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do next. They display a complete lack of feeling and consideration. They have very toxic energy which means that they're an immediate threat to anyone that they're around because they have the ability to negatively affect your life. 
so your physical, emotional and financial well-being is in serious danger because they're destructive to anything they come into contact with. When you first meet them, they may seem kind, giving and accommodating, but it's all just a game to entice you to do or believe something foolish and unwise. Because that's all they're ever going to do. They're just going to pull you down so that they can enslave you. But they're very good at imitating normal, rational people. They can act compassionate, sympathetic and generous. But it's just because they want you to think that you can trust them. It's to make you feel like you're safe. Because they want you to think that when you're around them, you're protected from danger or risk. You're not likely to be harmed. But it's all a facade. It's a deceptive outward appearance. It's used solely to prevent you from catching on to the fact that you're dealing with a fraud. Someone who is pretending to be something else in order to deceive you. Because they're only around you to manipulate and control you. To destroy you, to use you and to lead you astray. And they do all of these things to you. Because in their minds they think that they are God. Which is how they eventually become the creator and the ruler of your world. They become the source of all moral authority. The judge, jury and the executioner. The all-knowing. And the all-seeing. But what they're actually doing is seeking power because they feel powerless, weak and scared inside. They seek power and control over you because it makes them feel safe and less fearful. They see themselves as having unlimited power and is able to do anything. So they can't acknowledge anything greater than they are because everything has to revolve around them and in their minds they've already reached where they need to be. Their minds are made up They've already figured everything out. There's nothing more for them to learn. They're not even trying to grow. They're not even trying to advance or make progress. Which means that they don't even exist. Because they're not even living. They have no objective reality. So they're not even real. Because there's nothing that's independent of their mind. There's nothing independent of their conscious awareness of it. Which means there's nothing that can stand by itself or be self-validating. It's whatever they want it to be. Instead of what it actually is. So you're not even dealing with a fully developed human. And they're already aware of this. They already know that something is wrong with them. If you've paid close attention, you will have seen it. You will have noticed that they're already aware that something is not right with them. They know they're corrupt. They know they're dishonest and immoral. They know they're negative. And they already know the effect that they have on other people, which is why they're so suffocating. It's why they always have to be around you. It's deliberate and intentional. Because they already know that with the way they are, it's going to make you uncomfortable. It's going to make you feel trapped and oppressed. But in their minds, it just tells them how powerful they are. It just gives them fuel because there is no God within them. There's nothing that has power over them. Because they see anything good as a weakness. They see it as something that exposes them to harm. They believe that you can't do right and not be weak. When in reality. It's actually the opposite. 
It takes strength to do good and do right. It takes strength to love. It takes strength to be kind. It's easy to be foolish and reckless. That's the whole point. They lack discipline so it's difficult for them. Because they see it as though rules were made for those who are weak and stupid. They don't really see themselves as a victim. But they will play the role. And they will use it as a strategy to overpower you. To trap you as their supply. Because all they really care about is fuel. That's what motivates them. The power to lead you astray. To lead you away from the correct path or direction. To lead you into error or morally questionable behavior. To make you believe in the things that they believe in. They can't take God away from you. But they will try to take you away from God. Because then you're just the same as them. And that's what they want. They want to deprive you of your values and beliefs. And they will often do that by playing the victim. By making you believe in things that are not true. Things that are only meant to deceive you. Because they see that as the source of their power. And at one point they may have been victims, but they're not anymore. Because now they're manipulating you. They're using you to their advantage. So that they can be in an authoritative position over you and get you to do what they want you to do. But they already know they're not victims. Their power lies in convincing you. Because that makes them feel like they are God. By lying to you and giving you a false and misleading account of their true nature. Because they will do whatever is needed to get what they want. They will pressure and influence you to act with their desires. To unwillingly accept their opinions and decisions. Because they see it as though if they can get you to do what they want, then why do they need a God? The only thing they believe in is themselves. They're characterized by an unfounded certainty that they are totally correct and morally superior. When it has no foundation or basis in fact, it's not based on actual experience or observation. There's no history. There's no study of past events. There's no chronological record of significant events. There's no examination or observation of other suggestions or ideas. They just arrived at this conclusion on their own, with no systematic study or documentation. Which is why they don't think they're accountable to anything. They don't believe in karma or the laws of cause and effect. They don't believe in anything. So when things are going wrong for them in their lives. They're not looking at it as though it's God or karma. They don't see it as though it's the result of what they've done. Because in their minds they're above everything. So no act of punishment can be passed down to them. Because there is nothing greater than them. Which is why they're defective because it's hardwired in their brain. It's what causes them to be narcissists. It's not just a result of past trauma. Because not everyone who has been hurt feels the need to hurt someone else. Sometimes it just makes us even more compassionate towards other people. They hurt people. Because they're unable to think clearly or behave in a controlled and logical way. Because they have a mental illness. They're not normal, but it's still a choice. They choose to put themselves first. They choose to be abusive. 
and they're fully aware of what they do and the effects that it's having on you because they're not autistic or bipolar. They don't have a mental illness that impacts their decision making. If they did, then maybe they would be more deserving of our compassion and understanding. But narcissism is not like that. They know what they're doing. They're seeking power so they're only concerned with their own beliefs. Which is why it would be harmful for them if they did believe in a god. If they believed in god, they would be narcissists. They would become normal. But they want to be anything but normal. They don't want to conform to standards that are usual. They don't want to act in accordance with what people expect. It may seem like they do at times. But that's just a part of their manipulation. It's only intended to deceive you. So that they can gain power over you. If they really believed in God. They would believe that they have to answer for their actions and behaviors and then they wouldn't be a narcissist anymore. Because then they would have to think about their decisions. They would have to justify their behavior and attitude with logical reasons and they would have to consider the consequences of what they're doing if they just happen to be wrong. Which is why they have to be self-righteous. They have to believe that their ideas and behavior are morally superior as though it's for a good cause. So they're justified in doing it. But this is what makes them so dangerous. Because there's no distinction or contrast. There's no difference between two similar things. They don't honor anything from anyone who has a different set of beliefs. They don't take that into consideration and instead they just pretend. So by default they can only be destructive. They can only be negative and unhelpful. They can only exploit you. Because there's no incentive for them to be concerned about your well-being. There's no reason for them to care about what happens to you. So they can just get rid of you when they no longer have a use for you. Because they don't even see you as a real human being as well. They can't perceive of you as anything more than an object. As something that they can use. They don't see you as a separate person with your own feelings and needs. In their minds you're just a means to an end. You have no deeper or meaningful purpose of your own. Which is why they're so dangerous. It's why they dehumanize you. They deprive you of your positive human qualities. They remove you from the qualities of independent thoughts and feelings for other people. They deprive you of your personality and dignity. They take you away from kindness, generosity and independence because they don't see you as a human being. Which is why they're not going to treat you as one. But they know that they're sick. They know they're mentally ill. They know they feel strong, unpleasant emotions and a person who is at least with the bounds of sanity and normality and who knows they're not right would not want to deliberately share this sickness with someone else but they don't see it that way They don't interpret how it might affect other people. They don't care about anyone but themselves. 
so as long as they get what they want it doesn't concern them. They will go around other people even though they know that it might infect them because it's all about them and that's what makes them so dangerous. Because they're selfish and self-centered. They don't value anything outside of themselves. And clearly they don't even value themselves because if they did they wouldn't be engaging in these types of behaviors. And they already know it. They know they're toxic. They know that something is wrong with them. They know they have a problem. Which is why they're covert. It's why they keep the abuse hidden. Because they already know that something is wrong with them. They know that no normal person would want to deal with them if they knew what they were involved in. Which is the whole point of their manipulation. It's why they give you the false character. It's why they don't just put all of their cards on the table and show you exactly who they are. Because they already know that they're wrong. They know they're bad, they know they're no good. They know they're damaging and destructive. They know they don't mean you no well. They know that they've affected people's lives. But in their minds it makes them powerful. If they can destroy and corrupt you. Which is why they end up welcoming and accepting their own negative traits. They end up developing a liking for it. They end up seeing it as a good thing. Because in their minds that tells them they're special and unique. They're powerful and important even though they're negative. Which is why they never mention or refer to God in any of their decisions. They have no conscience. They're barely even alive. They're just existing. And it's always at other people's expense. They're feeding off your energy without giving anything back to you in return because they don't have anything which is why they're so negative. It's why they're marked by defeatism. They have a tendency to only consider the bad side of something or someone. They have a lack of enthusiasm and hope because there's nothing inside of them. There's just nothing there. So the only way that they can survive is by not believing in God. By not believing in anything that could hold them accountable. Because if they were to do that, they wouldn't be able to survive as narcissists. So it's very important for them to not believe. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.